That was a huge piece of bark. Well, what kind of wood is this? Mahogany. 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 I can't wait. This has been sitting in a warehouse for eight years to dry out. Eight years. You can even see on the top of this that they wrote down that it was... I guess cut in 2012, or is it? cut? That's when we received it. That's when y'all received so it. Might it. Been, it might have been out even longer. I see. And you can't carve things right away because there's too much moisture in the wood. So you have to let it sit for a long time. And let it dry out. And let it dry out. But sometimes it's just longer because you don't know what to do with it, and you're afraid to touch it because it's such a cool piece. Right. Okay, so for those of y'all who don't know, this is my boss. I hate saying that. I don't like calling don't you call my me, boss. Don't call me your boss. This is my friend Sebastian. This is uh, his warehouse where he does a lot of stuff. Actually, I'll just let you explain it. What exactly? Oh, your your phone's ringing. All right, explain what exactly you do for a living. Well, we are, we we I own a little construction company. But that's just to make ends meet. And the real reason I started my own business was to, you know, do stuff like this. And we're gonna be carving an incredible sculpture in the next two weeks out of this beautiful piece of wood. And uh, we also do custom furniture, but this is really the fun part and why I went into business in the first place. But you know, with the construction, it keeps us all busy and you do what you gotta do. But just wait, because in two weeks, we'll get to show what this is all about. That's awesome. I'll have to explain to y'all like his story too. He has an incredible story. You're only 23, right? 23. And he's been doing this for how long? Sculpting 10 years. T 10 years. With that's construction four. That's insane. With this, with this piece right here, which y'all can probably tell from uh, the thumbnail, depending on what picture I choose for the thumbnail, uh, we are going to be creating a a mushroom type of figure out of this half a tree is what it looks like to me. We're gonna be filming the whole entire process and it's gonna be awesome. So we got like a stem right here. I'm thinking the cap is gonna come all the way down to there. And so we start like this. So I'll make a mark like that. And we'll probably stop it like right there. We can start cutting into here. We'll take this out. Mark. We'll take that out all the way around. We'll make another mark here. We'll take it off from there to there. So we take off this, this lip right here. How do you get inside of it, like the stem? In, you'll, you'll see. So we'll see here. Let me make the first cut. This is what it looks like so far. So that's gonna be the top of uh, the bigger mushroom head, the cap. What? But pretty much we've been, uh, what, chiseling everything? Yeah. That thing looks crazy. Where's the blade at? Right here. Feel the heat right coming off that blade. Ugh. Don't touch it. Ow. Yeah. No, that's hot. I'm gonna throw an Instagram clip in uh, of what this just looked like.
he just freaking went all the way through the middle i didn't know how that was gonna work actually like because i asked you about that earlier i guess that's how you do it freaking just chain take a huge chainsaw to the middle of it so that's the little cap right there and the big cap so you've already started to sand down i guess what is that tool called what is it exactly does that do i would say grind i guess it kind of grinds but it down because when we sand is when we use a real fine paper to get it pretty basically here watch this day one working on this for about two hours or so you can see uh, the tops of the caps developing for sure already. So this compared to this, like just look how smooth that is. It feels smooth too. Well, that's just the beginning. This is a 60 grit. We got to take it all the way up to a 400 by Holy the time crap. we're done. Then we oil it, but that's a long way away. But the whole thing's got to look like that. These parts are easier. We can them with the orbital. The rest has to be all hand sanded. When we start doing the stalks. Sounds fun, hand sanding. Sounds like a lot of time, too. A lot of time. <laughs> well, we're closing up shop. I guess that's uh, day one. Part two. Sebastian actually did a lot of work since since part one so i'm gonna let him explain what he's done so far and kind of give you all some shots of what it looks like right now i mean the beginning goes fast because i'm taking off all the extra stuff but as you can see this the smaller taller mushroom is starting to take its final shape so now the bulk of the material is gone so it takes this is where it starts to slow down at least on this side because there's a lot left on this side you just had to put the holes through there because uh yeah that's how we get that. I wanted to separate uh, the one mushroom from the other because I could see this one in there more than this one. I have a lot more material to work with. This is a bigger piece. So to separate each stalk, you, you do your drawing. And I can't just get in here with the chainsaws easily. So you, drill, you get your drawing, you figure out what you want to separate, and you drill holes all around the rim. And then you can snap, you can run the chainsaw through those little pieces and it cuts a lot easier. Over there. What the hell is that thing? This is my mini pneumatic <gasps> chainsaw. Ooh, okay. When you want to take off big amounts of material, you see me score it with the chainsaw, but you also want to score it in the other direction. That way these pieces just pop right off. Just like that. Yeah, one sun rock.
Looks like you've gotten a lot done. We've got, we've, so far, I'm pretty happy with what we did today. There's just a long way to go. Here. That's it. No way. So far, we're probably about 14 hours in. 14 hours in. I will see you through. Cause every day we pay the price. Here's a little sacrifice. Come and kill the town and screw. The town and screw. Bounce and ranks come from mush up the place. Stem is just getting thinner and thinner. I love it. Whew, it's coming in. It's gonna look amazing, dude. Tired for the day, but you never want to stop. Whoa. Sebastian, you got a shitload done today. Like, it looked completely different from when we first started the video. We got way more done today than my goal was. And we're still gonna do a little bit more before we go home, but it's really starting to take shape on both sides now. Man. This was the less finished side previously, and it's really getting its... Starting to, you're starting to be able to tell what it is, which is really cool. Well, this part where we're really starting to get close to our final forms. There's really not much chainsaw work that still has to be done. So we'll probably take this hump down, kind of give it a little curve so it looks more natural and fades into the bottom. Anticipated 100 hours, we're probably into it 20. And uh, I'd put us at almost halfway done. Hell yeah. I can't wait. I love this stuff. You guys, make sure to like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below about what y'all think. Make sure to hit up this guy for any construction work, anything like that. And uh, I guess we'll see y'all on part three. I'm Jake. This is the guy that's making everything happen right here. Sebastian. Where are we at today? We're still grinding. Still lots grinding? Lots of grind. We're hoping to get these from here up. Mostly done today. This is where all the grinding and shaping comes in. We get it all to move in as one big piece, not as, you know, a bunch of building blocks put together. So what have you gotten done since uh, part two? Just grind, a lot of grinding. You know, there's really only three steps to it. You carve it, you grind it, and you finish it. You got all that sanded down. This is being shaped up here on top. It's smooth. I know y'all can't feel it, but it, this side is like super smooth right here. This side is starting to come together. See, this is high. This has to come in. This has to come in. And it has to create a little bit more of a shape like this one. The aesthetics. Yeah. Awesome. I like it. I think Sebastian's going to keep working on this. And uh, we'll take some clips of what it looks like here in a little bit. Fire. Or YouTube. See, like it looks cool. Have you been doing this the whole time? Uh, yeah, since he started this, pretty much. What are you drawing up right now? We're sketching out the shape, so that gives me a guideline for where it should be. And see, as I bring this in, I have to bring this in further so it looks right. Thanks, sir. Looks so. Here, there, I guess you're just wanting to shave down this side right here. What's you doing, Dustin? It looks like it's starting to go. Now we're starting to work our way down into the base of the sculpture. 
it gets, it gets to the point where I get sick and tired of looking at the natural wood the, on the outside and I want to get underneath and see no more of it. So that's what we're doing right now. So be kind of like the dirt? Yeah, have the dirt fall up into here and up into there and around and I'll say I'll put you know a defined uh, you know a natural defined line with the finished part of the of the wood. This needs to be lower, you think? Or at least faded better. I kind of wanted to fade the dirt up through here. So it's just sitting in the dirt, you know? Look how amazing the base is. Let me get a close up. It's all oil. This side is exactly We're almost there. YouTube, if you want this piece, uh, I don't even know if you're going to sell it or not. I don't know. I mean, I definitely want to show it. But, you know, everything has its price. What have we gotten done today? We got a lot done. We have the base most basically done and carved and textured. We're going to leave this all textured. This is our earthen base. You know, it's supposed to resemble earth and what the mushrooms grow out of. And we're getting into the sanding phase. So we're going from carving grinding to grinding sanding with mostly only having to sand. So the stems are basically done. I mean, as far as grinding goes, we're gonna start sanding them like this. And this is just the first paper. So we gotta go all the way up to a 350, or excuse me, a 320 at least, is what I like to do on sculptures like this. Cause I wanna give it that extra mile. A lot of people don't go past the 150 or even, and sometimes even in a professional setting, a 220. And I usually only bring stuff up to that. But with stuff like this, I like to go even higher to get a better shine out of the wood. When it's really coming along fast, I'd like to try to be done by Wednesday. By Wednesday, really? So two days from now. This is absolutely no half-assed job. This is, how would you say it? Taking it uh, way farther than anyone else would with a wood piece. Yeah, people don't like to, they, think, they don't think twice about shining up wood, and I like to shine it up to give it a special finish. Seb and I were just talking about social media. There are links in the description below matter of fact scroll up right now look you don't even have to watch the video just scroll scroll down click the description are you there okay cool now do you see the links one is his website one is his social media check those out this is gonna be in uh part three we're pretty much like coming up on a close aren't we yeah you know i I'm, this went way faster than i thought it would we really got into this and that's super exciting because I'm, it's, I'm, I love when I start seeing the grain of the wood come out and the pieces just really come to life. You know, puts a big smile on your face. You can see all of our future products in the back. Got wood and we're good. Look at all that stuff that we're gonna be able to make stuff out of. We're gonna have a lot of, a lot of stuff, which reminds me, you've also got an Etsy that's in the link in the description too. Yeah, so. little stuff, you know, stuff like this isn't gonna be on there, but I, we also do make little pieces of furniture and um, little pieces of artwork and wall hangings out of this real, real high-end wood. We only work in, you know, the highest quality products. The majority of this is all mahogany, real, real nice. It's that good wood. Time cured that good mahogany, wood. the good wood. This, this tree that we made this out of fell down in 2008. This has been sitting in the warehouse since 2008. 2008. <laughs> you know, I was 13, is that right? Do I, did I, do I even math? I, something like that. And I guess we'll see y'all in part four. Part four. So much progression. Is that the right word to use? Progression? Yeah, I guess that works. Sebastian is uh, is looking looking for tools. We've got a lot going on today. Or so it sounds like we just got here. And how long has it been since we started now? If I had to guess, I'd say we've about 30 hours, 30, 35 hours so far. Probably another 15. So... What else do we need to do? We got a lot of sanding to do, right? We got a lot of sanding to do, and you know, I'm looking at it, and I had some, you know, extra plans for it, some surprises. Oh yeah. But the more I look at it, the more I <laughs> like it as it is. I do, I like it as it is, but... I think that'll give it the next level. The surprise, you think? Yeah. It needs that little extra kick and that little bit of, you know, that psychosis. Uniqueness, that or so more so. Psychosis, I like it. Where are my drills? So what's on the agenda for part four? Where do we need to go today? 
We gotta go to Yardco Rocks and pick, some, pick up some good wood and good stone. I can't talk, it's a surprise. So yeah, we gotta run some errands, specifically just for the mushroom, and uh, we'll have some uh, surprises for y'all. So Sebastian does a lot of mushroom work, but he also does all kinds of, of other stuff. Where, what is that stuff called? Polyester? Polyurethane. Polyurethane. But like, just look at this piece right here. This piece is sexy. This piece is sexy. And not only that, what I do also, as you can see in here, you get a lot of worm holes in the wood. And I can leave them, which I do sometimes, but I also, if you come close to this one, I fill them. So these are all holes that were in the wood, these little black marks. And you can't, probably can't see it too well on the camera, but it's a reflective, you know, black infill that I do from a specific stone that I can't, you know, tell the secrets of. I just stepped on my coffee. All right, we're going on a road trip. What is this place? Yardco. Yardco. Huh. And look at all this stuff. I've got four little marijuana trees Rooming in my backyard with these Legally Growing legally I've got four little marijuana trees Rooming in my backyard with these All different types of rocks and stones and glass maybe and like wood and stuff. When behind closed doors, then plotting to destroy us with them restrictions. It's kind of heavy. I got it. This is what Pitta like. By the way, we had to go and grab lunch real quick and we just got back to the shed. Got the shed. The warehouse. The warehouse from the stone store. This is Krista. Hello. This is the my brain, girlfriend. The brain behind behind the whole entire operation. Oh, she wish. does. <laughs> like an old man, all I can do is make things. I don't know any. I can barely send an email. So pretty much that that was the surprise. Is going to grab these rocks, and uh, we're gonna drive them all into this piece of wood. So this is kind of what they're gonna look like. And we're still kind of debating where they're gonna go, but we think that's gonna look sick. The whole like idea behind it is it's this magical earth in which this magical mushroom is growing out. One, two, three, my favorite, four, five, I'm not even sure if the camera can do any, any justice, but six, seven, and then we'll go over these uh, with, what do you call it? Eight, we're going to oil it first and see if we polyurethane it. So these will be shiny. They're actually like, they're crystally. So they kind of look like quartz, but they're purple. You decided to just to do just the soil, right? Yeah, we're just going to do the ground. Okay. And I, I like the top too much to add, to drill holes and put stuff in it. So we just got whatever this stuff is. What exactly do you plan on doing with it? I think I'm going to use it to attach some more crystals to the surface of the wood so like these little pieces yeah all right so what had happened is uh we took some rocks and we crushed them up into this like powdery stuff and we ended up making a couple of these right here and keep in mind that we haven't put anything on these rocks yet to make them shiny one here one here uh, a little bit right there. You can see it from the other side right there. Right there. Right there. And right there. Alrighty guys, that's probably gonna be it for part four. There's obviously, we're gonna have to go into another part, right? Probably part four. Cinco, no sias? Is Five. six, right? Seis? Uno, yeah, dos, yeah. Cuatro, uno, dos, cinco. tres, cuatro, cinco. Oh, wait, uno, dos, cinco. tres, cuatro, cinco. Yeah. Part uno, cinco. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, six. And, uh... <laughs>
there. I guess we're gonna try. What? <laughs> guess we're gonna try and uh, finish this El thing today. El Sangadito. El Sangadito. Quieres salir conmigo, mami? If you're watching this, you you heard me. If you're if you're pretty, and I like your personality. Mostly that. So what are we doing today, man? Trying to finish. This is the magic hour, I guess. Magic Almost hour. Done. The part that I hate the most. So we have to hand sand it. It's gonna take just as long to do those. these two little areas. Holy crap! Right that, in here. That's why Sebastian handed me this. It's because I got to go through <laughs> and go on the inside on these hard spots right here and do it by hand. But the whole thing. Whole thing. Sounds fun. That's what makes it a pain in the butt. So magic hour engaged. Magic hour engaged. It was a lot rougher than this, and it's just because this is so close together, it's hard to get the bigger tools in there, so we've been having to hand, hand do it, but we found some smaller stuff, I think, so Sebastian could get inside of here, but this is what's coming along so far. So be careful who you choose as your friends, for they might let you down in the end, just when I thought a real good friend I found. Sanding, sanding, and more sanding and sanding and sanding. And so we're probably gonna have to go until tomorrow, and uh, we are still sanding. And it is the next day, but we are really close. It's the hardest thing to find. It's just better than only enemy. A false friend is the hardest thing to see. Cause when times are good, well, our friends are plenty. In times of trouble. All right, where are we working with today? We're almost done. The final sanding buffing stage is happening. All we have left is this cap and the undersides of both caps, and that's it. Both stems are done. The base is done. I remember when. Gonna put some uh, some oil on this puppy. This is it. The moment of truth. This is either the most exciting part or the most disheartening part because we'll see all of our mistakes. <laughs> Look at that. And so by oiling it, we're gonna be able to see. It's well, it's to bring out the color, but we can also see all the stuff we missed as far as imperfections and all that if we missed it. Already bringing out the color. See, this is just normal normal sanded and we've got this right here that I'm not gonna touch it's wet don't touch it don't touch it Jake don't do it just look at this just look at all that oh yeah cool I'm so excited to see this color come out huge difference it makes a huge difference putting just one what layer? Just one coat. layer of coat. One coat. Even the rocks are more purpley now. serve a different purpose but I much prefer working with oil over epoxy or polyurethane and stuff's all a pain in the ass. See like that's how light it was and then this coat of oil just makes it darken. Brings out the real color of the wood. It, 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 it more than I took let me put it this way 
I took stuff off all three walls and put it all up on the shelf and still have space underneath it to put stuff on. That's it. We've pretty much got an entire coat on it now. This is the monster. Well, definitely was an effort, to say the least. Sebastian said this was your favorite piece. I think this is my favorite piece I've ever made. Between the size, I mean, the wood is just, I don't know, to me, the wood takes my, like, I don't know. I'm nuts for this stuff, so, but the color of this wood is just so beautiful. I did nothing to it other than give a natural oil. This is grade A right here, and this is why it took me 10 years to use it, to use this piece of wood. And I have others just like it that have been waiting that long for their destiny. And that, that one day, I just got the idea and boom, that was it. Alrighty, putting the finishing touches on it. A couple coats of wax, and we're out of here. And this one's already got warm, but you can see it doesn't shine up on the first one. You gotta rub it down a couple times. So a couple coats of wax, I guess. A couple coats of wax, we'll do two or three. Alrighty, we got our first coat of wax on there. And it is shiny, it is darker, and uh, it's beautiful. Let me get a close up of what we're working with. See the purple rocks that have kind of come out. Man. Out in the sun, out in the open, gave it last, its last one little touch, and that's it. She's done. That is the mushroom sculpture. Seb, you got anything to say? I'm just excited. All I can say is now it's time to get this one out of here and make the next one. True. We've got a lot more to go. Couldn't be happier. This came out awesome. Let us know what y'all think in the comments below. Give us a like for all the time and dedication we put into this and also give us your money if you want this. I'm just kidding. But uh, we'll have a bunch of other work and then y'all know that Seb all makes smaller stuff too. Um, also check the links. Y'all know to check the links. And uh, this was... This was my first experience doing anything like this, so this was definitely special for me, and I was I was surprised because of how quickly he got it done with all his exper expertise, 10 years doing this, and four years in construction. This is still insane to me. <laughs> all right, guys, I think that that's it. Just uh, support your local uh, mushroom dispensary. Do they have this? I don't know, but they should. <laughs> all, I can, all I know right now is that I can rub this thing off as much as I want. It's like it never finishes. <laughs> Wait, was that a, was that a, hold on. For the mind that I down in the air, just a thought, when I thought, when I thought, yeah. them let me down, down.